Hello and good morning and welcome to the GoFans to this Sunday, the 3rd of March, 2024, and today's edition of the LPE's expert, Sudoku Puzzle. We'll start right away with a couple of sevens blocking across and a seven blocking down and up, leaving one square only for a seven in row number six. Couple of fours blocking across like so, and it down here, and a four goes here. Eight and two blocked down here. We got to have eight and two in these two squares. We don't know where they go exactly, but now we know that these can't be eight and two. They must be a three, seven, and a nine. Can we use that for anything? Well, yes, we can. A three and a nine block here. So this must be a seven. Now we have two sevens blocking across and we have a seven blocking down. So it's a seven. About the nines, we found out that one of these must be a nine, it blocks up. We have a nine blocking across here. Therefore, one of these must be a nine blocking up. We have this nine blocking across, leaving just this square here for a nine in row three. One of these is a three blocking up. This three blocks across. One of these must be a three. So we got nines and threes here. What's more important though is that since this ghost three blocks up and we have a ghost three blocking up here, we know that this must be a three. And here we just need an eight and a two. The eight blocks here, therefore this is a two and this is an eight and this is a two. Let's have another look at these squares. These are three and nine, we found that out earlier. So these must be a one, four and a five. The one blocks down, so it's a one, four and five, four blocks over, five goes here and the four here. Five, six and eight here. Six here or here, eight here or here, five, I don't know much about. Eight here or here though. Let's have another look here. Three and nine, therefore a six here. And here a four, eight and a seven. And we can't solve those yet. Six here or here. So now we're looking for sixes here. And there are lots of possibilities. We can take out this square. It must be a three because two threes here block up and this three blocks over. So it actually Turns out that we have a six and a nine here and a six and a nine here. So these squares are spoken for by six and nine. And since we have a seven blocking across here and a seven blocking up here, this must be a seven. And that gives us a seven here. Now an eight and a four for these two. And we still can't solve those, but we are getting closer, I think. Two, four, five, eight. 4, 8, this is a 2, 5. We know this is a 4, 8. Ah, don't really know yet, do we? But we know what these must be because these are 6 and 9. These must be a 1, 3, and a 4. So we can actually place a 4. It must go here because these 4s block here. And we can place a four and an eight here now because this four blocks up. Four can't go here or here. Four can't go here. So here's a four. Now we know that this is a four and this is an eight. One, two, and five. 
Still don't know what to do with that, do we? But I think we're getting closer to an eight, and here's how. These two eights block here. This eight blocks here. This eight blocks down, therefore one of these must be an eight blocking here. So the only square left in column seven for an eight is right here. And this eight and this eight combined block these squares from being an eight and this eight blocks this square. So here's an eight and therefore it follows that this must be an eight. Here now a five and a six. Six blocks here, here's a five, here's a six. Six blocks down, here's another six. Six and eight, six and eight, six and eight. Six blocks down, eight here, six here. The last square here must be a two. What does that do in terms of eights? Yes, eight and eight block here. This eight blocks here, so here's the last eight for today. Here we need to find a nine and a five. Therefore, this must be a one. Six and nine. One and three. One and three. So since this can't be a one and this can't be a one, it follows that this must be a one. Which blocks across here? This one blocks up. So we have another one here. Six and nine here. Therefore, here a two and a five. And therefore here also a six uh, or a nine, the six blocks over giving me a nine here, therefore a nine here and a six here. Very logical, very easy and very satisfying logic. Two and five here, five blocks over, two here, five here. Two blocks over, two goes here. Two blocks over and up, two here. Therefore, this must be a two and this must be a five. And we have another five here. This is a one three. This is therefore also a one three. This is a one three. Oh, let's do this one. It looks very empty, doesn't it? And very lonely. So we should do something about that. For example, plugging in a three. Now we know that this is a three and this is a one. Giving us a one here and a three here. Therefore a three here and a nine here. We know that from the beginning. This is also a nine now and this is a what? A five. Now we have a five here. And we have a two here. Three and nine for these two. Very fitting that they are last because we found them first. Three blocks over, nine here, three here. I don't know if this was the easiest expert puzzle ever from LPEs, but it ranks up there with the top three, I think. But we recorded it, so we might as well upload it to YouTube. What do you think? Thank you for watching and bye for now.